And so that helix is a short wave in your DNA. But what the genetic engineers may have forgotten is they're all excited that they now understand the letters, but they don't understand how the words and the syntax requires a phrase within a sentence, within a paragraph, within a book. And it's that context richness or context embedding which is the braid on your DNA. And you see how this is a braid of the short wave on the long wave? So the information that's in your DNA actually has these waves here, which are very long waves, which is a wave on a wave on a wave on a wave waving. That's called super looping. And that's actually a picture of how harmonics nest in, say, things like your heart, where, for example, in your heartbeat, you have your heart, you have your heart beat as a wave, and then you have your heart rate as a wave. And then you have your breath as a longer wave yet. So you have a wave on a wave waving. And that's the process of embedding and the embedding or nesting of how short waves can nest inside of long waves where the interference between them is all constructive is based on something called perfect nesting or perfect branching, which turns out to be exactly in mother nature what she calls phi low taxes. And that's how leaves branch in these trees around us, in the lovely trees. The way the branch happens is that this branch with related, re relationship to this branch chooses the place to unfurl so that the geometry of the leaf structure actually solves the problem of perfect sharing. So you've got this one leaf that says, oh, I need to share the light so that there's maximum exposure, minimum superposition. And what Mother Nature discovered is in order to do this, the way the leaves branch is they do a one, two, three, four, I'm sorry, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. Okay, it's called the Fibonacci progression. And that progression is such that if you take any two numbers in the sequence and add them, you get the next one, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, etc. The point is that that Fibonacci progression, which is perfect branching, perfect nesting, uh, actually leads to the ratio, the golden mean, which is called phi. Often it's symbolized by the Greek letter phi, which is a circle with a vertical line through it. And phi, the golden mean ratio, is the solution to perfect nesting or perfect branching. And we're going to see later that that harmonic ratio actually shows up in the heartbeat as the space between harmonics in the chord, the music of the heart, deciding what chord to play. And when the space between harmonics is a multiple of phi, the golden ratio, it appears people are generally having an emotion that's heart-centered or open or blissful. And so Mother Nature is solving the problem of perfect sharing by solving the problem of perfect branching, which turns out to be the solution to the problem of perfect nesting, which is the solution to perfect compression. So all of these things are related to the golden ratio or the golden mean or the sacred cut.